So today we're fitting a, a remote switching panel to a circuit breaker on a solar farm. Hi, I'm Graham Hogg. I'm an electrical engineer. I've um, been doing this since the oh, past 21 years, I think. 22, 21, 22 years. We've got uh, a couple of guys helping us out. We've got Dave Wynn, who works with myself. Um, we've been installing this system and we've got Storage SAP, Mike Astley, to switch the solar farm off, uh, lock it out and put it into a safe condition to allow us to do our job. So there are many challenges where you can see we're out right out in the open, so yeah, foul weather can set in and we'd have to stop what we're doing. It's, a, like you say, it's a relatively new solar farm, so we've just been getting used to uh, how it operates, how it works. Okay, so we're then going to open up the circuit breaker for the 800 volts. One for each string on the solar farm. So each string will have an inverter associated with that string. And so what we're making sure is that no string can put any power back onto this switchboard back feed onto. Okay, we'll go next door and do the breaker. Can we? So if we're just sending this over to Earth. At top. Earth and then remotely do that first. So we're gonna close the breaker now. We've selected into Earth. We're gonna close the breaker into Earth. <laughs> we'll put a lock now through there. Yeah. That will mean that no one can open it off the wall. There's nothing to isolate further downstream of this. No. So it's just basically- Just that one. I'm not going to end off. That noise is just the, uh, the louvers closing on the ventilation system. Uh, in terms of actual observation, there's a lot can go wrong. We've got uh, it's 11 kV sub, so, uh, it's GIS switch gear, so that's not an issue. But to prove dead, we've got two open transformers. Uh, we've got a 15 calibre risk in there. On the elevator board, we've got a 15 calibre risk coming in. Um, and that's an 800 volt system. We're just going to do the isolation again now and put the second breaker into Earth for the 400 volt transformer. Well, I got into this by accident, really. Somebody offered me an apprenticeship and I took it. But I always wanted to work with my hands, always wanted to be making or fixing things. It was just natural to me. I wasn't one for offices or classrooms. I just like to work with my hands, so it was just continued to go into what we had today. They're inside this control box now, and we both put our isolations on the outside of that, so not one of us can de-isolate without the other one knowing about it. Next, I'm gonna go in there and prove dead on the transformers. Hey, what excites me about my job? Well, I'm a contractor, so I get to go into many different locations and get to work in the Cheshire countryside like this. It's uh, much better than four walls in an office, so we get to meet new people all the time. And new challenges all the time. It uh, keeps things exciting and yeah. Okay, so at the moment, <coughs> this breaker is the main breaker for all the strings the, from the uh, solar farm. So what happens is, as that feeds back through onto your main transformer, this is your main uh, protection, basically. So to open and close this, you want to be able to do it remotely. At the moment, the remote position is just above it. So for safety reasons, we're wiring that up into a remote panel so that we can do the switching from a safer area rather than being in front of something that's going to open and close and potentially have instant energy behind it. So out of the way, it's the best place for us. When it comes to PPE, I've decided to partner with Strata. About four or five years ago, after using many different brands, and it became my one-stop shop. The customer service is impeccable. The garments are continually getting better and better, which I didn't think was possible. They cater for the whole range, so like I say, any PPE I need, I can go straight to them and have it more normally within the next day. I always love work and always love my job. Uh, you do get daily challenges, you get difficult people, or um, sometimes when you travel around the world, the travel can get to you a little bit and whatnot, but other than that, the actual work side of it, I love my job.